Day two, Agri Expo on the Grassman stand. Yeah. Feature product, Tanko mowers. As you can see, they're on the Fent 820. That's because we want to put them on different tractors. Yep. That's the whole idea they why they're here. Yep. Yep. So we didn't go for the big ones so that we could drive them. But to get your fix on the actual mowers, we're handing over to Michael from Tanko and he gives us a real good talk through the Pacifics. And he does go into detail. Yep. He's yep. a fountain of knowledge. Enjoy guys. Michael, we meet again. <laughs> yes again. <laughs> Although we've came to you this time. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, it's been a wee while since we looked at your uh, demo set of mowers uh, last year. You were running them on the, the case and uh, we got a wee bit of a look and, and the video went down extremely well. How have we progressed that together? Would you like to explain? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, welcome today. And yeah, thanks for coming down. The machine we had last year that you were out with was the nine disc rear mower version. So 33 foot cutting width. Uh, so what we have here today on your fast track, uh, the rear mowers are 30 foot version, so 8 disc in the rear mower. Uh, so the machine last year was the was a 19 build demo machine, so the, there are some little differences in the, in the production machine. We've come on nearly 18 months, uh, so the machine here today is, is the production machine. And the reason we went for the 30 foot just when we were chatting back and forward was we're going to try it in various different tractors yes you know and some tractors will be sub 200 horse running yep. 30 foot mowers which you assure me will be no problem yep are you sticking to that now i will this is <laughs> this yep. is your moment yeah no problem <laughs> so yep. we have an 820 fent there that's putting 190 horsepower out the back end yeah sub 200 and you tell me no problem in yep. this right yeah she'll handle the 30 foot no problem yeah and then the fast tracks from uh, Dino and the one we had last year, we know it was a little bit stronger. Yeah. Again, she'll, she'll be at ease. She maybe would even handle the bigger set if, if yes. we needed. Yeah, so the demo set last year is a 33 foot. So we were saying for the 33 foot, about 232 or 40 horsepower would be comfortable with it. So for the 30 foot, uh, yeah, your 180, 200 horsepower, depending on crop and ground conditions and hill and all that. But yes, we've, in the testing over the last couple of years, uh, we've had them on the, a lot of various makes, 180 all the way up to 390. Now, some of the stats on the mowers, yep. because people love to know what exactly it is they're looking at. So, yep. um, we're working with uh, tried and tested components. You want to talk yep. us through some of the main parts of the yep. mower? Yep. So, <clears throat> we're working with Comer beds. So this particular model here has the quick attach blades on it. Uh, we can also do bolt on blades if the customer wants. To get down into the specifics of the of the machine, so yeah, your seven disc, uh, your seven disc bed, um, you're looking at about uh, 4.2 liters of oil inside in the bed. Uh, the 30 foot rear, probably about 4.8, and the 33 foot about 5.2 liters per bed. Um, <clears throat> the, T, the gearbox is then the main gearbox on the rear you're looking at about 4.4 litres in it uh, the, the gearbox in the front here 1.75 and then in your end gearboxes um, probably about 0.4 of a litre on the rear ones and the front ones 1.75 You're still maintaining with the heavy duty bed here that still sub 200 horse oh, yes. yeah. well run it So the 30 foot rear mower uh, the 30 foot rear mower is weighing in around 3.4 tonne and the 33 foot mower is about 3.6 tonne. So both of them are putting in around 1600 kilos on the rear linkage, transferring the rest equally through the two rear wheels. Whereas your front mower is coming in here about 1250, uh, about 1250 kilos or thereabouts. So for want of a better word, we're pretty well balanced then between our front yes. with the weight on each axle. Yes. Slightly proportional more to the rear, which is the way you want it, but not too much on the rear. So that's one of the main advantages over your traditional butterfly is the weight and the capability to travel at speed down the road. Um, with the steering on the rear, um, basically the way it's done is the rear wheels of the mower will follow in the rear wheels of the tractor. So access into confined areas, you know, no problem at all. Where you can get your front mower and your tractor in, the back mower will follow. Now the 33 foot mower, when it's folded up, it does overhang the wheels by about a foot and a half, whereas the 30 foot, um, 
uh, is pretty much level with the back of the wheels. Just look at the front and keep driving is what you're saying. That's basically it, folded up for transport. <laughs> the, the cutting width of the front mower is about 2.8 metres, but folded up for transport is 2.9. So your rear mower folded up is 2.7. So you're, you're 10 centimetres wider each side going down the road. So basically where you can put the front mower and the tractor, the back mower will follow after you. Yeah, and within that bed, um, am I right in saying 25 mil? Uh, so the the heavy duty beds have uh, the, dri the drive gears across the back and then you've got your satellite with your module on the front. So the, the drive gears across the back I think is about 58 teeth per cog, uh, the, the driven ones are 18, uh, the, but the thickness of both are 25 mil. So that's substantial. It is, yeah, yeah it is. But they're a tried and tested bed, like over the years with different manufacturers using the Comer beds. There's, I'm sure there's guys that put all sorts of gates and fence posts and stuff through them, but no, they're, they're yeah. a good heavy duty bed. I can vouch for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but the beauty of them as well is with the safety module, with the breakout force uh, in the bed, um, you know, the module just gives way. So if you do hit an obstacle, it'll just break out the module. I think it's something like 10 decanewton meter force required for it. So what that equates to in fence posts, I don't know, but it's, you know, it's, it's enough without being too little. And then on, on your front more, and I know we looked at this last year, but you've opted for the uh, quote unquote pull system. Yeah, so the front more design, it operates on a pull type system. So feedback from users was they all prefer the, uh, the pull type system. Uh, but with the suspension, it runs on a rail. So the rail is part of a curve. So you've got super flotation in it. It's about 960, 70 mil up and down vertical travel. Uh, left to right is, uh, I think it's about 19 degrees. Front and back is about 16 or 17 degrees. So super amount of travel. I'm going to ask the, 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 the most obvious question here. And um, why you put an axle in the back? I mean, you know, we're butterflies. Just lift them on the tractor. And away we go, like, is, the, is it needed? Look, the butterfly mounted system, like you're putting all the weight on the back of the tractor and you need, you may not necessarily need that power to drive the mower, but you do need that size of a tractor to physically carry it. So yes, you can go down in, not just in power, but in lifting capacity to be able to mount these, the trail system onto the tractor. But even in a, like in a tractor of 280, to 70 horsepower to lift that, you know, it's going to take a certain uh, amount of power to actually propel a tractor of that weight. So by having a smaller tractor, like you, you can save 30 or 40 horsepower there as well. And like we, we have seen these out in the fields with guys and for roundabout figures, they're comparable with uh, front and side combinations. Like guys are telling us that they're back 20, 25% on fuel and they're up 50, sorry, they're up, um, you know, they're, they're going down the field taking 30 or 33 foot instead of 20 foot. So in their work rate per hour out in the fields, you know, they can, they can go out and do more, more in less time. And that, that's a driver of the concept is that, you know, the efficiencies um, and the gains for the end user. So basically on your, on your rear more, how does the drive system work? So obviously we're coming out of the tractor. Yeah, so you're coming out from the tractor into the main gearbox. Uh, so your drive from the tractor out uh, is pretty much, the shaft is pretty much level. Uh, and then it, uh, it tees out to the, to the drive units. And just depending on the ground conditions, like it'll, it'll be pretty much a, a direct drive out. So, you know, you're not losing any power through um, the angles of the shaft there as you, as you, you know, they're, they're pretty much level. So you're getting a pretty much a direct drive out. So on the front more, uh, uh, bed drive on one side, uh, conditioner drive on the other. And the conditioners are do driven down through belts. And the conditioner itself, um, uh, on the shape of the tine. Yep. Um, there are a bit of hard ox in there, I do believe. Yeah, so there, uh, the conditioner tine is a semi-swing uh, tine. So there's a hard ox piece back against the shaft. The shaft's about 140 uh, diameter, six mil, uh, with the hard ox on it. So they're semi-swing, semi come back against it. Uh, the tine probably is 
uh, due to the concept and the folding up and all that, the uh, the time on the conditioners probably is a bit shorter than other makes out there. But it's running slightly faster. It's running about 750, I suppose, as opposed to 700, 1,000 speed as well. Uh, so your shorter time at your 750 RPM, like <coughs> you're still looking at it, tip speed is comparable with the longer time going at the shorter speed. So I suppose the message uh, from our show here, and, and thanks for being a part of it, no the message here is get them out there, let people see them, yes. let them see that we're serious yes. and we've got this. Yes, we've got this. Thank you very much. and. Uh, doesn't it look class? It does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Lovely yeah. job. Thank you very much. No problem at all. Thank you very much.